welcome to another episode of Cheers to That, the show where we give love advice, relationship advice. We just really like to give advice. We just really like reading your questions and we like kind of just, I don't know, I'm having a good time, man. <laughs> Today we're coming from you to you from sunny California. It's like 85 degrees outside, so I'm letting my uh, legs have a little breathing breathing room. I love you got to get your shorts on. I got my shorts on. They need a little bit of a tan, but wow. we'll work on that later today. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys had a happy holidays and all that. We were gone for quite some time, right? I mean, we need a little break, I felt like. We've been back for, uh, we have been back for a couple Woo! weeks now. We yeah. have been back for a couple weeks, and we're happy to be back, and we're going to be cheers to that every single month, the last show of the month. Bye mm -hmm. bye Fab Forward. You can just stay in 2013. We're yeah. moving on. We're back to cheers to that. And we're tipsy tuesday every first Tuesday of the month. The other two, or possibly three, depending on the month. Yeah. We're just going to have a good time. So yeah. if you guys have any ideas. Yeah, let us know what you guys want to see in 2014. We're super excited about this year. We have a lot of fun projects coming mm -hmm. up. We have a room makeover with Miss Glam coming up in February. So that's very exciting. That's a big deal. I mean, it's going to be like a two-parter because we literally have redone her entire condo. It's amazing. And she's got like a fab little beach pad and like with she's a great so view. Cute. And she's just the cutest ever. And so. we've got a new show coming out on Pop Sugar Girls Guide. So more to come on that soon. Mm -hmm. So Mayor should Fashion we, show. Should we get to it? We're getting to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, cheers. Alright. This comes from Jendal XO. For the second time this month, the guy I likes likes this other girl. It's really frustrating and I just want to get my first kiss over with. All my friends are very experienced and I'm embarrassed about my lack of experience. I'm too nervous to make the first move and I don't know what to do. Alright, I don't think that you should be in a rush to get this first kiss over with, do you? No, but I could definitely relate to this. <laughs> Let's just say that. I All right, okay, so Billy, do you have a story for this? I've got a couple stories. Oh, a couple stories. So the first one happened, my How first kiss. How many first kiss, did you have? I had a couple because I, because I, I had, I was so traumatized. I waited a couple of years between. All right, Spill. So the first one, I think I was like 11. And I had friends, like all my neighborhood friends, some were 12, some were 13. Lacey was across the street. Okay. She was like a year and a half, so like 13. So I'm 11, right? Right. Maybe, actually, I think I was 12 because I was middle school. But just started. And he had this cute little bob. I mean, kind of bob like long hair. We had the same hair. Anyway, Eric. And everybody forced me, like all got around was like, kiss, kiss, kiss. And like it got to that point. And I was so nervous. And I kissed. And I always regret this. I feel so bad. He kissed me. And I go, ugh, he licked my teeth. And I said it in front of everyone, and I said it because I was embarrassed, and I felt stupid, and I was immature, and I didn't know what to say. And then I was, like, traumatized for kissing for about, till eighth grade. Is that because everybody was, like, kind of gave him a hard time? Like, you embarrassed him by saying, like, he licked my teeth, and then he felt, sh like, bad? It was like, we just were both so embarrassed, and like, it was, like, so awkward, and it was my friend's birthday party, and so everyone was there, and they were like, you guys are gonna kiss. Your boyfriend and girlfriend, you need to do this. And I was like, <gasps> Yeah. Oh, poor guy. You know, you probably traumatized him. I know. And then a year, I was a little traumatized, too. Because the tongue went up here. And then, um, and then 13, flash forward, my boyfriend was really trying to have first kiss. Meet me after school. First kiss time. Meet me after Did school. Did he know that it time. technically wasn't your first kiss? No, he didn't know it was a first kiss or not. You I troll had, up. Because I had been acting like I had kissed because I was so embarrassed of my lack of experience. I was mortified and humiliated. So then oh, okay. I um, kissed him, and he pretty much shoved his tongue down my throat, and then I was like, oh, I gotta go, and I ran all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't think I had another kiss for, like, another year. Oh, my. My first kiss was kind of the same. Like, I remember I was so into this, boy, my first boyfriend, and we kissed, and he, like, it was just, like, a spit swap. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's so no gross. gross. It's not good. So you just have to know that, like, there's no rush. Like, looking back, there's I'm no like, really? Rush. Like, you, it's so silly. There's no rush, and... Yeah, it's probably not going to be a great experience. It's always kind of awkward. And what's the story? She, this guy likes her or doesn't like her. He likes another girl. You and that's another thing. You do not want to have a first kiss with a guy that likes another girl. Mm -mm. No, you need to wait for your prince charming to come and sweep you off your feet and have a great first kiss. Whether it's your first kiss or your first time having and I, sex, it's the <laughs> same thing. And I, you want a guy that wants to be with you. Yes. And I get that your friends are more experienced than you, but I doubt they're that much more experienced. And if they are, let them be. Let them be. And who knows, they could be lying about it, okay? 
They could be. So there's nothing wrong with being a little inexperienced. You will catch up in good time when it's the right time, but wait for the right guy. I know, and it's not until you're older that you realize it's actually like, it's not a bad thing to not be, to be selective and to be yeah. like, okay with that. Like, it comes in time. At first you're like, oh my gosh, I'm left out. No, you're not left out. You're mm -hmm. not a whore, so that's the good news. <laughs> cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to you not being a whore. And cheers to not slut shaming. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. This one comes from Lola Cara. Could you guys help me with this on the next episode? I would really appreciate it. So I liked one of my classmates for about three years, and I told him how I felt last year. I had to go on a trip for two weeks, and all through the trip, we talked via chat, and he said we were going to get together when I came back, and maybe I'd have a chance of being with him. Okay. Okay, that's the first red flag. Um, a couple of days later, after I came back, we went to the movies, but when I got there, he was with one of my best friends, and they told me that they liked each other and wanted to be together, but were worried about how I would take it. I stopped talking to both of them as they were blaming everything on me, because they couldn't be together, because of how I felt for him, and now, a year later, they've broken up, and I'm not sure what I could do, what I should do. Should I start talking to her again, or leave them both in the past? There's a couple of things that, that strikes me as a little bit wrong about the situation. First of all, that they would just show up at the movie theater when you thought you were going to go out with just him. Did he and say then, that it was a date, or did he say, like, maybe we can get together when you get back and talk? But then also, it like bring, that? It, bring it up at the movie theater that the girl, that your girlfriend and this guy that you like want to be together. I think that's kind of weird, too. But then they were together for a year, which makes you think, like... hung up on him. It certainly was not working out for a reason between the two of you. So you have to trust that everything works out for a reason and that, you know, the guy for you will And if there's out. any solace, they did break up. Yeah, that's and the maybe news. one of them got their heart broken a little bit. So, you know, keep that close to your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to sweet revenge. Hi girls. So there's this guy at school and one time I was with my friend and he came up to us because he He's new here, but I didn't know him, and cracked a joke, and I laughed and smiled because I thought he was cute, and and he saw he, me smile at him. About one or two days later, he was near me, and I was with a friend, and I laughed, and he turned around and smiled at me in a flirty way, and I smiled back. Ooh la la. Right? He was looking deep into my eyes, and then he did a thumbs up. I really like him, and I think he likes me too. What do I do? I want to talk to him, but not make it awkward because I don't really know him at all much. And this happened at the end of the year. Will he remember this and still like me at the start of the next year? All right. So basically, the summary of this is that you saw a guy. You guys had a little bit of chemistry. Yeah, a little you moment. don't know you him very moment. well. You don't know him very well, but you definitely had a moment, mm -hmm. and you're wondering if he'll still remember. And I say that he probably will. Yeah, I'm telling you, it takes a lot. I would say it takes a lot for if he really did look at you like that. But then guys are also really like dumb. It could go either way. Because it could go like he was like, did we have a moment? <laughs> well, I didn't notice. Or it could be like if he if he consciously did that, he definitely remembers. I say it's worth a shot though. You've uh -huh. got nothing to lose, okay? Nothing to lose. We've all heard the story about how I ended up with my fiance, how I asked him out and now we're getting married, so you literally have nothing to lose. If, if he says, if he, if he acts kind of weird with you and like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, oh, whatever, then whatever. And I think it goes back into like, you're like, well, I still remember. I'm like, are you guys on break? Is there, can you get like social media contact? Is he yeah, Facebook? can you Somehow. Facebook him or, or like his Instagram photos? Something like get a little dialogue going on a little bit. You know, you yes. don't have to all of a sudden be like, we had this moment last year and I think that we were meant to be. It can be like, yeah, no, no, no. just get back involved.
get, 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 put yourself back in his circle, yeah. in, in front of him. Circle of trust. Circle of trust, whether it's on social media, uh -huh. whether it's, you know, uh -huh. walk, making a point to walk past him in the halls and give know. him a thumbs up. And look at you. Now you guys have that bonding thumbs up thing. You know he's in the Yeah, you can be like, up. I can't wait. Don't do that. I think that was some good advice about just putting yourself in front of him and see how it goes. Feel it out. You'll know if you guys continue to have those kinds of moments He'll know and too. have that connection. He'll know, you'll know, and then you'll know that it's the right time to go in for the kill. Oh, yeah. But I say cheers to you for being, you know, a strong, independent woman who's going to take charge and go get her man. Oh, one thing I should probably bring up is we haven't had a chance to talk. I cut all my hair off, which you guys oh, probably yes, know. Oh, yes, But it's gone. <laughs> and it just kind of happened. I kind of got talked to him, do it. I wasn't super happy the first time. I, I love it. My friend fix it, getting used to it, and I think I'm owning it. It's right a now. great look for you. It's good fun. I, I love, love it. it I love it. It's so, like, professional and fabulous, and, like, I'm here to take care of business. Hey, now. Yeah. I'm a businessman. I'm not a businessman. Ooh. Hey, now. Jay-Z for y'all. Cheers to your new hair. Thank you. Cheers to you and your wedding in four months and your amazing getting in shape. I only have like what? Is it two or is it three or four episodes of Cheers to That to film before I'm a ah! That's a Oh my god. Okay, so we'll bring Finn on before and then we'll get like before and after. Okay, that's a good idea. And I am going to try and bring you guys some wedding coverage and do some kind of video for the wedding and stuff for you guys. For sure, I definitely want to do that. So I'm trying to figure that out because it's taking place in Texas. Tell so me your bachelor party. Oh. Um, so for my bachelorette party, we're going to Coachella, which is kind of huge and amazing. Yeah. And I hope that we make it back in one piece. I feel like it could very well lead to like the hangover, like the female hangover. I want a monkey. <laughs> Who has a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> or the baby. You could have the baby in the Give thing. me a monkey or a baby. I want all my teeth. I don't want any tattoos. Yeah. But if you're in Coachella, second weekend, come find us. Party with us. That could be fun. Party on. Um, okay, what else? I think that's pretty much that's it, right? That's it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cheers to That! Yay! And if you love kind of what we're wearing or what's going on here, check out our Louvocracy and actually follow us there. Really cool. And all the links will be below so you can buy it and get the look too. Yes, thanks guys so much. Bye. See you next time. Bye!